Hello and thanks for watching this Cloud9 ERP Solutions video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to talk about duplicate records. And when we talk about duplicate records, you have Acumatica, you have any ERP system for that matter. Over time, you're going to get records and there are going to be certain criteria about those records that are going to be duplicate. Now, in the past, it was easy to just go into those records when you found them and discontinue them. You could use the integration services and the import scenario to maybe mark and discontinue the records that you deemed are duplicate by going out to Excel, taking all the data and figuring it out. But in Acumatica, we have the ability to detect duplicates and then also merge those together to be one record. So let's take a look at how all that works. So right now we're taking a look at our contact list, but in Acumatica we have leads, contacts, and accounts, business accounts. So we have many different areas of the software. Of course, a lead can become a contact, which can later become an account. But how do we go about comparing all of these different records to determine whether or not they're duplicates? So in Acumatica there's an area, when enabled, called duplicate validation and I say when enabled because you need to go into enable features to be able to enable this feature and turn it on if I search for it duplicate validation it's under the Acumatica CRM system the customer management you see duplicate validation there so you need that in order to proceed but once we enable that, we can get to this screen, which is duplicate validation. And you see on the left-hand side, what are we comparing to? Are we comparing a lead to a lead? Are we comparing a lead to a contact? And so on and so forth. So you can go through this and have the system compare across different entities, across different database tables, to determine whether or not there is a duplicate. Now over here to the right, there is a threshold, meaning if I achieve this score, if I achieve a greater than this score, I found a duplicate. And how does that work? Well, we take a look at these different fields and we put a score against them. You can call that a gram. And that score, when you add it all together, if we end up being, when we add all this up, if we end up being greater than or equal to this score here, then Acumatica will detect that record as a duplicate. Now, you can also add additional fields here. So any fields, these are all predefined by Acumatica, any fields that we select here, we can also put in here for checking and we can give it our own score. So whatever you think is important to determine a duplicate, whatever is in this listing that you determine is a duplicate, you could put your score in it and have that add up to hit that threshold, either equal or greater than. Additionally, Acumatica can split words. So, for example, an account name, you know, maybe you have bartending school. What you want to do is if another customer has bartending in it, by splitting this word, Acumatica will check the words individually. Additionally, you could also have the system take a look at it from a domain name standpoint. So that domain name, you know, www might not be critical, but what's inside is certainly important. So cloud nine ERP is important, but .com is not. So you can use that to also, again, split off the terms that are important for duplicate checking. And then under create on entry, this allows us to decide what do we do if we go to save this record and for example, the first name is detected as a duplicate, do we block it all together, not allow that contact or in this case lead to be saved? Do we simply warn? So there's a status field, we'll get to that in a second. Do we warn or do we allow so that later we can look at our duplicates uh, and move on? This is a preference because in day to day, when you have end users that are trying to enter records, it's nice to be able to not stop their progress, let them do their work, get those records entered, continue to function, 
and then later wrap this up maybe once a month, once a week to check for duplicates. And one of the new things that's in Acumatica is the ability to merge. So even if we go a month or six months or something, we can always merge these records back into one by taking the best field data and putting it into the final record, the record that wins. So now that we've configured our lead, so we're checking our lead. Email obviously is a heavy, heavy weighted item. And we have Warren set for it. We'll leave that alone for now. First name, last name, account name, phone and web. If all of those add up together, if they're all true, you still only have about four points. So that's not enough. In this database, we're really leaning on the email to push over the threshold. So if we go over to contacts, we take a look, and let's say we add a new record. So we'll put in here John Doe, and we'll put John at Doe.com, and we'll save it. And now we have this. Now we'll create another record. And maybe it's John Smith. But again, the same email, john at doe.com. If we save it, Acumatic has detected it as a possible duplicate. So it tells you, at least one duplicate has been found. Do you want to save the record? And we'll say yes here. And what we get is this status here at the top. And of course, this field can be shown in any generic inquiry. And if we go back, just to show that, and we look at our contact list, we scroll over to the right, you don't see that field here. If we go into our field chooser, and we search, you do have it here. We'll add that field, and we'll scroll over to the right, and you can see validated, possible duplicate, and so on and so forth. And if we sort by descending on this last modified date, we can see possible duplicate in the second record that we created. So now what you can do is you can click on this column if you want, you can create a filter at the top, but you can look at all of the possible duplicates, click OK, and you can see we have three. So you can organize this data accordingly so that you can go into each one and evaluate what the issue is and what to do with it. So for example, if I go back to our John Smith, which is a possible duplicate, the record we were just looking at, we now have a duplicates tab. And under the duplicates tab, it gives you a list of records for merging. So for example, there's not a lot of information in this. We created two records, we used the same information, but what we did do is we created this as John Doe and the current record is John Smith. So now if we want to, we can click Merge here. And now Acumatica gives you a choice. Either you can keep the current record and merge that, meaning I'm going to keep Smith as the value I want to keep. That's the current record. Or if I go to Duplicate Record, notice it switches over to Doe. And of course, you can check which one you want. And notice there's only this one field that there's an issue with. Everything else is the same. Now again, if we go back, cancel this, and maybe we give a couple of pieces of information here. Maybe we'll give a address, and we save. We still have a possible duplicate, of course, because of the email address. But if we click on Merge now, Notice Acumatica wants us to validate whether or not we want to keep all these fields. And we could decide. Maybe this one we want to leave it blank, the job title. We don't like that. Uh, but everything else we want to keep. So we can decide and essentially we're pulling in the final record. And if we click resolve here, what we end up with is one final record. So if I take this value for email address and I go back to contacts, I take out my filter for duplicates, and now I search for my email address. Notice what I get now is a validated record. That's the top one. 
but the old record, John Doe, goes back to duplicate and the status becomes inactive. So Acumatic has done the work for us by moving the information we needed over to the parent record or to the new parent record and it's marked this inactive so we don't get confused and use the wrong record on an ongoing basis. Now there's something else here. If you've used Acumatica before, Acumatica hasn't been checking the weight of these items and the possibility of whether or not they're duplicates. So moving forward, if you enable this tomorrow and you start creating duplicate records, the system's not going to know, it's not going to check existing records. So to correct that, what you want to do is run calculate grams. And what you'll see here is all the records that exist that the scoring needs to be calculated for. And we show business accounts here and account names and contacts, but you'll see the type. And for example, you'll see contacts, leads, and business accounts here. And if you process all, the system will go through in the background and calculate and get everything up to speed. Now, while there's a scheduler here, you really don't need to schedule this on a regular basis. And then lastly, even though we're doing this through the user interface, I'll take out this filter right here. Even though we're going in and we're clicking on a contact, and again, we're going in and maybe creating a new record. Maybe we'll copy this and we'll paste this and maybe I spelled the last name wrong. As we do this, yes, Acumatica will continue to validate for possible duplicates, like it's doing here. But this also extends to Acumatica's import scenarios. The integration tools will also check the business logic that you've configured here, and it will stop imports if it detects a duplicate. Now, it will stop them if you've turned on block for those fields. If you say allow, then later you'll come in and you'll have to check out all your duplicates. So that's Acumatica's ability to verify duplicates against leads, contacts, and accounts, and against other entities, so a lead to a contact or an account, vice versa, and the ability to merge records. If you have any questions about this or anything else Acumatica, feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again for watching this video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. And have a great day.